discount is equal to so bankers discount minus bankers gain f is equal to true discount into bankers discount divided by bankers gain discounted value will be equal to f into 1 minus tr we know the formula for present value that is f divided by 1 plus tr everyone a warm welcome to one and all this is yashruti ma'am lecturing in vidyashram the temple of excellence mysore so we are at the revision session of the chapter bill discounting so in this chapter we are going to discuss two mark question and three marks question before that let us see the distribution of marks from this chapter so from the chapter bill discounting you will be having one two mark question and one three mark question totally five marks from the chapter bill discounting so let's see the two marks questions bd and bg on a certain bill due after some time are rupees 1250 and rupees 50 respectively find the face value of the bill so bd is nothing but bankers discount bg is nothing but bankers gain we have a formula that is true discount is equal to so bankers discount minus bankers gain so that is it is equal to 1250 minus 50 so therefore true discount will be equal to 1200 the face value of the bill is given by bd into td divided by bg so bankers discount is 1250 true discount is 1200 divided by 50 so when you cancel this so the face value of the bill becomes 30,000 rupees. So therefore, the face value of the bill will be equal to rupees 30,000. Next question. True discount on a bill was rupees 100 and banker's gain was rupees 10. What is the face value of the bill? We know the formula that is true discount is equal to banker's discount minus banker's gain. Now we know true discount that is 100. Banker's discount we don't know. Banker's gain we have 10. So banker's discount becomes 100 plus 10, 110. Again we need to find the face value of the bill. F is equal to true discount into banker's discount divided by banker's gain. So F is equal to, so true discount is 100. Banker's discount is 110. Banker's gain is 10. So when you cancel, the face value of the will become 1,100 in terms of rupees. Next question. Banker's gain on a bill due after 6 months at 4% per annum is rupees 24. Find the true discount and banker's discount. So now what is given here? The banker's gain is given. So banker's gain is rupees 24. Next they have given time period that is 6 months. 6 means means? 1 by 2 years, half years, year. Next, we have rate of interest that is 4% per annum. So, when you convert it, it can be 0.04 in terms of percentage. Now, we need to find out the true discount. We know that banker's gain is equal to true discount into T into R. Now, we need true discount. True discount is equal to BG divided by T into R. So, banker's gain is here 24. So, 1 by 2 means it is 0 0.5. So, we can write it as 0 0.5 into 0 0.04. So, when you divide this, so the true discount will become rupees 1200. Now, we need to find out banker's discount. We know the formula for true discount that it is equal to banker's discount minus banker's gain. So if we want banker's discount, it is true discount plus banker's gain. So true discount is 1200, banker's gain is 24. So therefore banker's discount is equal to rupees 1224. Next question. A bill drawn for three months was legally due on 6-7-2018. Find the date of drawing of the bill. We know that legally due date is equal to date of drawing plus 
bill period plus grace three days. Now we need date of drawing. So if we need date of drawing, it is LDD. So what is the legally due date we have? 06-07-2018 minus bill period. So we have to minus bill period. It is for three months. So let's write three months and here it is zero. Grace also we have to subtract. So it is three days in grace, zero, zero. Now we need to subtract this. We have to subtract. Because if you want date of drawing, you have to subtract with legally due date, bill period as well as grace period. Now 6 minus 3 is 3, 7 minus 3 is 4 and the year is 2018. So therefore, date of drawing, date of drawing is equal to 03-04-2018. Next, we will move on for three marks question. A bill of rupees 3500 due for three months was drawn on 27 March 2012 and discount on 18 April 2012 at the rate of 7% per annum. Find the banker's discount and discounted value of the bill. First, let us write what is all they have given. They have given the face value that is rupees 3500. Next, they have given the bill period that is three months. Next, so date of drawing is given that is 27 March is nothing but 3, 2012 and the rate of interest is given as 7% per annum. Now, we need to find out the banker's discount as well as the discounted value. So, to find the banker's discount and discounted value, we need to find out the legally due date first. So, first let us find the legally due date because time is necessary to calculate banker's discount and discounted value. Now, to find the legally due date, so date of drawing is 27-3-2012 and we have to add the bill period. Bill period is three months. So, or you can put zero here and we have to add grace three days. So, totally it becomes 36, 2012. So, the actual legally due date is 36, 2012. So, now let us calculate the date from 18th April to legally due date. Time from 18th April to 30th June. So, time is equal to or number of days we can calculate. Time is equal to 18th April means after 18th we have 12 more days. Next May we have 31 plus June is 30. So, total we have 73 days. So, but we have to convert time in terms of years. So, time t is equal to 73 divided by 365. When you cancel it, it will become 1 by 5 years. So, now here we have time is equal to 1 by 5 year. Since we need to calculate the banker's discount and discounted value of the bill, first let us calculate the discounted value because banker's discount is face value minus discount value. Now, let us calculate the discounted value. So, discounted value will be equal to F into 1 minus TR. So, now here discounted value is equal to F which is nothing but 3500, 1 minus 1 by 5 into 7 percent is the rate of interest which is 0 0.07. So, on solving this we will get the discounted value as 3451 in terms of rupees. Next, we need to find out the banker's discount. Banker's discount is face value minus discounted value. So, face value is 3500 and 3451. So, it is equal to rupees 49. So, banker's discount is equal to rupees 49. 
since we need to calculate the time here, we have to calculate the legally due date so that the number of days can be calculated and we will get the time in terms of years. Then substitute time in the formula, find discounted value, then you can calculate the banker's discount. Next question, a banker pays Rs. 2340 on a bill of Rs. 2500, 146 days before the legally due date. Find the rate of discount charged by the banker. Now here, they have given the face value as 2500 and discounted value as 2340. Time is given that is 146 divided by 365 days. Now when you calculate this you will get the value as 2 divided by 3 in terms of years. Next we have to find the rate of interest. In terms of percentage, we have to calculate charged by the banker. We know the formula that is discounted value is equal to F into 1 minus TR. So discounted value is 2340. So 2340 is equal to 2500 and here we have 1 minus 2 by 3 into R. So let's see this 2340 divided by 2500 is equal to 1 minus 2 by 3 r. So next we can take it 2 by 3 r is equal to 1 minus 2340 divided by 2500. Dividing this value and subtracting from 1 we get it as 0 0.0064. Now we need r. r is equal to 0 0.064 2 by 3 becomes 3 divided by 2. Let's multiply by 3 and divide it by 2. Now, when you divide it and multiply, you will get it as 0 0.096. So, when you convert it into percentage, it will become 9.6 percentage. So, this is the rate of interest charged by the banker. Next question. The banker's gain on a bill is 1 by 5th of the banker's discount and rate of interest is 20% per annum. Find the unexpired period of the bill. So we have a relation that is true discount is equal to banker's discount minus banker's gain. So therefore here true discount is equal to they have given banker's gain is 1 5th of the banker's discount that is BG is equal to 1 5th of BD. So now let's replace it BD minus 1 by 5 BD. So on solving this we get true discount is equal to 4 divided by 5 BD. Now we know the formula for true discount in terms of present value that is PTR is equal to 4 by 5 and banker's discount is FTR. We can cancel TR, TR on both sides. True present value is given by F divided by 1 plus TR is equal to 4 by 5 F. We can cancel F again. Then we have got, so 5 is equal to 4 plus 4 TR. So 1 is equal to 4 TR. Now I need to find out the unexpired period. That is nothing but time. So if I need time, it is 1 divided by 4 R. R is nothing but 20%. So that is 4 into 0 0.2. So when you calculate this, you will get 1.25 years. So 1.25 years means you can write it as 1 year, 3 months. Or in terms of months, you can write it as 15 months. Next question is, for rupees 512.50 due 6 months at 15% per annum, find the true present value and discounted cash value. We know the formula for present value that is F divided by 1 plus TR. So they have given the face value, they have given the time period, they have given the rate of interest. So face value is 512.50 divided by 1 plus time is 6 months. So 6 months means 1 by 2. Again 1 by 2 is nothing but 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 into next rate of discount is 
15%. So it is nothing but 0 0.15. So present value is equal to 512.80 divided by 1.075. So dividing these two terms, we will get present value as 476.74. Next, we need to calculate the discounted cash value. So we know the formula for the discounted cash value that is dV. So dV is equal to F into 1 minus TR. So the face value is 512.50, 1 minus time is 0 0.5, rate of interest is 0 0.15. Now let us subtract this. So we will get here 512.50 into 1 minus 0.5 into 0.15. Finding the value and subtracting from 1, you will get the value as 0 0.925. Then multiply with 512.50. Then the value is equal to 474.06 in terms of rupees. So this is the discounted cash value and this is the present value or true present value. So using the formula of true present value and discounted value, they have given face value, months, that is time and rate of interest. So we have all the terms in the formula of present value and discounted value. Hence, we can directly use the formula to calculate the present value and discounted value. So in bill discounting, formula is very important. So learn the formula, substitute it directly and you will get whatever the value they will ask. So these are the questions you may expect from this chapter. We'll meet you in the next session with the new chapter. Until then, keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.